Today's video is brought to you by Squarespace, the all-in-one platform for creatives. Well, good morning, everyone. Welcome to another video. Uh, if you watched the channel a few weeks back, I don't know, however these will line up. Uh, it's out in Dartmoor, that's where I am right now. This is that same trip. I was out here for a couple days just doing some project work. The plan was to just kind of pack up and hit the road this morning, but wanted to come out to this area and just see the sunrise. Uh, and then I still actually feel like shooting. So uh, I thought what would be cool is I have like a 300 kilometer drive home today. And uh, I thought it could be cool to like set some sort of like mini photography challenge for myself. And this is something that I like doing every now and then, uh, you know, just setting these like simple limitations because I feel like it can always help like, you know, just inspire you to uh, create or, you know, break out of a funk or help you find new ideas, develop, you know, your style, all sorts of things. So I'm um, going to give myself a, a few limitations to work under and then also want to talk about uh, five challenge ideas that you could use yourself if you're looking to switch it up a little bit. So what I'm going to do, nothing crazy, but uh, I was shooting on the X100 or GFX100 as well as out here uh, for the past couple days. I have a Bronica with me, which I would love to shoot some film, but I only brought black and white. And that's kind of what I was shooting uh, black and white over the past two days. I want to shoot some color. So I'm going to shoot GFX100S. I'm going to put on a 45 mil Contax pancake, which is a 35 mil lens. Uh, shoot in some sort of crop mode, like a 4.5 or a 35 mil shooting JPEG. And then also uh, look up some sort of film simulation online and then give myself uh, the goal of making 10 images on this drive. They might be 10 really bad images, but uh, the whole point is just to try something new and, and have some fun with it. But first, uh, I'm gonna enjoy this and just take in this view before we jump back on the road. So I ended up settling on Fuji Films built-in classic negative preset. This is one that I think they've done a really great job with, but it's also one that I probably wouldn't ever use for any of my project work. So uh, this challenge was a good excuse to try it out. So kick things off of this first scene. I loved the light and the shadow here, just waiting for someone to come to the frame. Lucked out with the timing here with this fellow walking through and then shot a second frame as he stopped to look at something for like two minutes. I have no idea what though, so uh, your guess is as good as mine. Image number two, same area. This classic negative preset, I will say, they've done like a great job recreating that like Fuji lab scanned consumer film look. But for me, it's just a little bit too heavy, too contrasty. I want to get into these challenge ideas. So um, first one is some sort of gear challenge. I want to start with that because that's what I'm doing today. You know, just if that's a, a different like film stock you've never shot with, if that's, you know, a different lens or a film simulation or something to just get you outside of your norm, outside of what you would usually do. And almost like gives you permission to go and just like mess around for the day. And that's like, kind of what I've done today and it's it's been really nice so far actually a nice change um, like I said get away from the black and white and the slower pace of working so gear challenge number one so this town ended up being a lot of fun the next image uh, another scene playing with the light and the shadow down this alley and just loved the detail of this fella sitting on the bench taking in the views I gotta say as well I was pretty impressed by this little contacts pancake you know, the corners weren't the greatest, but other than that, just tons of detail and yeah, nice and compact and has a great look to it. Okay, so spent uh, way more time in this town than I thought I was going to, uh, gonna get on the road, but first, number two, the second challenge, and that is just going out for a shoot and only focusing on making images that have uh, complementary or contrasting colors. So like blues and yellows or blues and oranges and reds and greens. More challenging than you'd think, but this is a really good way just to like develop your creative vision and start like building a little bit of intuition to see things that you otherwise maybe would have missed. So number two, contrasting colors. Let's get on the road.
What I realized very quickly during this day is just like how much more I was experimenting and just having fun. The process felt a lot less serious than when I usually go out and shoot. And uh, it, it was just like a good reminder about the importance of doing stuff like this. Just going out and basically playing. Okay, number three challenge. Uh, aspect ratio and orientation. So commit to one for like a week or a month, something you don't shoot regularly. Uh, I have been shooting a lot of 645 landscape style. Not today, obviously, this is a departure from that, but uh, that's been kind of my focus this year. And it's good to switch it up and just, uh, you know, compose in a different format and stick with it consistent. So six images in, and I gotta say, I wasn't expecting to actually make much work that I was happy with, but I surprised myself, and I think some of that just came from, you know, shooting something that I maybe normally wouldn't, trying some different things, involving people in the frame, and uh, yeah, I think things like this are where you, you know, find little hints for ideas moving forward. But now I just need to take a quick break to talk about the sponsor of today's video, which as you all know is Squarespace. I've been using them for a while now and what I love most as a photographer is just the wide range of clean professional templates and just how easy it is to use. So for example, if you're building an image gallery, you can simply drag and drop photos to rearrange them, which is just a really great way to sequence and update portfolios as you create them. So check out squarespace.com today for a free trial and to test it out. And when you're ready to launch, you can use the code squarespace.com slash Kyle McDougal to save 10% off your first purchase of a website or a domain. Okay, let's jump back into the video. So at this point in the day, starting to run out of light, maybe have, you know, an hour left, still have to make some images. And that's what I loved about this challenge is normally I probably would have just packed it in and tried to get home after a big day, big couple days. But uh, you know, this 10 image number that I had set made me kind of go and visit that next fishing village, see what I could find. Number seven and number eight, the light's getting lower, shadows are getting longer, lots of little elements to play with. Okay, so we got like half hour light left. I don't know why I'm leaving this town, but I'm gonna go to another one. That's kind of part of the fun today is just jumping from town to town. Uh, it's been actually a really nice change. But first, uh, number four is setting some sort of goal to make like uh, five or 10 images over a short period of time. So say like a day or a couple days uh, max where you build a sequence. So five or 10 specific images that are for a sequence that you can kind of pair together and structure. This is a really fun way to work just because it forces you to look for things maybe you normally wouldn't, things that might complement one another. A half frame camera is great for that as well. But uh, building a sequence uh, over a short period of time Number four, let's get on the road. So I decided to end this day by driving out to a pretty cool location uh, and stopped on the way in this little village to make image number nine. Gotta say this classic negative is, you know, kills a little bit of this like warm glow that was there. It's not as saturated. Everything's a little muted. Don't know if it's one I would shoot with much in the future. Okay, cutting it close here, amazing sunset out along the coast. Now, to be honest, I didn't really want to come here to photograph it, just thought it'd be a cool place to uh, check out the sunset and end this video. Uh, but number five, obviously gotta get this last uh, challenge tip in. Uh, I kind of feel like I should have had some like grand finale, which I don't, but uh, still important. Number five is to pick some sort of subject to focus on and photograph for a day. So that could be like, you know, get very specific. It could be like flower pots in a window or something. Just again, these things to try and kind of help you uh, focus and uh, develop your vision and notice these things that you normally wouldn't. And that's number five. Like I said, I wish there was a little bit more of a grand finale, but I uh, didn't know I'd come to this spot and have a sunset to, to end the video. Overall though, Really good day, that was, honestly was a lot of fun and I'm glad I decided to do this. Like I said, you know, if I didn't, I probably would have just drove home, went through some of these towns, thought maybe I should shoot, I don't know. But uh, 
yeah, kind of just like rapid fired through a bunch of towns and uh, made some images that I think I'm pretty happy with. Got to obviously see them on the computer still, but uh, it's a lot of fun. Highly recommend doing something like that sometime. Anyways, hope you all enjoyed this. Uh, thank you for watching. As always, I'm gonna get on the road. Now I actually have to get home. It's been a big day. Anyways, see you soon.